You ready again? I got another Amazon customer turn liquidation a mystery box. This is once again general merchandise. I'm having crazy good luck with these boxes. Fantastic items. I'm getting brand new electronics, brand new Fitbits, getting brand new Lego sets, getting freaking throwing knives. Last box got like a few stun guns. So I'm just gonna get right into this. Quit gabbing. These boxes cost around $250 a piece. I bought like a total, I think I had 16 of them. Um, and the return on value is just between $750 to $1,000 return on value. So it's at least three, four times your money back. Of course, you gotta sell everything before you make anything. What we got? What's it look like? Ooh, oh, nice. I'm seeing right on top. Oh, I see. Hold on. See these right here? I see some Ray-Ban sunglasses sticking up at me right there. Seeing, what else did I see? Gerber knife, Lego sets, some Star Wars stuff. This kind of looks kind of crazy, once again. Okay, first thing out here, here we go. Ray-Bans. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? We got some aviators, some Ray-Bans. Ray-Bans are such nice glasses. I kind of like those though. Yeah, I have a couple pairs of Ray-Bans. I got them all from Amazon liquidation palettes and Ray-Bans are such nice, nice sunglasses. Those are very, very nice sunglasses. I'll have to look those prices up. Actually, I'm gonna look them up right now. Okay, I'm looking at these on eBay, Ray-Ban aviators, like pre-owned condition. And I bet you I can get at least 50 bucks for this pair. Maybe as high as 75 so they have the original case and everything for them. So between 50 to $75. I'll probably add 75, like best offer on eBay. There will be a joint down below to my eBay store if you wanna check it out. There's over 1,400 items available right now to purchase. A lot of stuff. Here we go. We have a Lego set. It's a little crunched. Eh, kind of really good crunched. But funny, it's still factory sealed. The factory seals almost came loose because of the crunches, but it is still factory sealed. Boxes crunched, so this will be on eBay. I keep a lot of the Lego sets from, the, from these boxes because I hold them back until they get retired by Lego, then I sell them. But this one with you know some pretty good box damage on it, I'll go ahead and throw this one on eBay for sale. Okay, so it sells, it sells new for like 20 bucks, but with some box damage, probably like $10-ish in that range. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a watch. The brand is Golden Hour. This is a watch box. Ooh, that looks nice. Ooh. That looks like a fancy watch. It still has the film around the watch band. I kind of like that watch. Do I need to keep this for uh, for business use? It actually kind of fits me perfect, too. That's really nice. Let me look this thing up, see if I can find some information about it. So I'm seeing these sell on average, if it was brand new for like, it's not super expensive, but it is a nice watch though. New for 50, so probably half like $25. Let's see, we got a Gerber knife. Ooh, nice. Paraframe mini clip folding knife. I love Gerber knives, these are so nice. I have many, many of Gerber knives. This sells new, it's actually it's not like crazy expensive or anything, 15 bucks or so iPhone 12 Pro Max silicone case, and it is still factory sealed. It sells new for 50 bucks on Amazon because this is an actual Apple branded silicone case. Apple branded, it sells new for 50 on Amazon. eBay, they'll be about, about 40, a little bit less. Let's see, let me pull this thing out. It is factory sealed. Oh, that's funny. It still has the Ross tag on it. You see that? So it says retail this was 25 bucks on Ross is 9.99 then it got liquidated. Looks like this thing sells for around 30, around 30 bucks. Of course, I'll remove the Ross tag <laughs> before I sell it obviously. But it's around 30 bucks. Has this like small slight little tear in the wrapper right here, but I actually won't affect value because it's still fighter sealed and the box is in fantastic shape. So let's see what we got. We have, oh, it said we got a Leatherman. We got another knife. Oh, it's a, a, a Leatherman, like a uh, multi-tool. Well, that's nice. Leathermans are usually pretty 
pretty good quality stuff too. Looks like pre-owned condition. It's like 35 to 40 bucks in pre-owned condition. With the box, but then I'm seeing some that have sold for uppers of 70. Between like 40 and 70 bucks. So honestly, $60 best offer on eBay for that. Not too bad. Here we go. We got this uh, gut microbone. Mike, what's it called? Micro. Yeah, that word down there. That's 20 bucks. I've had quite a few of those out of these pallets. Let's see. Brand new DeWalt drill drive. And number six. Still factory sealed. Brand new. Completely brand new. Still has the little tag on it for like the um, the sensor. If somebody tries to steal it from like a retail store, they don't deactivate it. Still brand new on Amazon. It sells for 15 bucks on Amazon. So eBay, 10 bucks. Let me pull out this big old thing right here. Oh, it's heavy. Then we got a big old speaker. Okay, we've got Pile Power, a 12 inch subwoofer. See what's kind of crazy? The box is still factory sealed. Looks like the box took a little bit of like damage, probably during shipping. But these subwoofers are usually very, very well packed. It's honestly, it's probably completely fine. Retail box damage, but the contents of it are very well packaged the inside and in like styrofoam, so I guarantee it's not even damaged. Let me see what this actually sells for. Okay, so it looks like open box item is around 40 bucks for this. About 40 bucks for open box item. But it, honestly, it's, it's probably brand new. Before I sell this, I'll open this up, check it out, make sure it's not damaged, and all of a sudden it becomes an open box item at that point. So yeah, that's still a good item now. We got another Crunch Lego set. Lego Creator a Dune Buggy. Pretty crunched, but it is still factory sealed though. That'll be honestly probably about 10 bucks on the Dune Buggy. Not very expensive. Hand forged meat cleaver. Still factory sealed box too. All factory sealed up. This are the kind of things that are hard to find for sale on eBay because they're like third-party products. Honestly, with that, open this thing up. I don't even know what it looks like. Hand cleaver, probably at least 20 bucks, I bet, in that range. We have, ooh, it says Pandora. What is in the Pandora box? Is this gold? Hold on. Wait a minute. Is that still... It's still like factory sealed. Let me scan this barcode that's on here. I'm going to have to just do more research on this to figure it out. Like here's one that I think might be it. A Pandora slider snake chain bracelet. The silver is 65 bucks for the silver version. But this is obviously gold. This might be expensive. I don't know. Just look at on eBay. If this is like the gold version, it could be as high as like 100 to 150 bucks. If this is like the like gold plated version. I think it might be. This might be between 100 and 150 bucks. It's brand new. It's still all sealed up. Um, this will take some more research, but it looks like a gold plated Pandora, like snake slider bracelet or something. <laughs> we found some freaking gold in the box. That's awesome. Then we got, oh, nice, some more Samsung Buds. I actually just sold a pair of these for 45 bucks. Yeah, just sold this same pair just, just like this for $45. They're both in there. I know these actually sound really, really good too. For the price point, these are actually really good headphones. 45 bucks. We'll follow those up right here with, bam, we got some AirPods. These are the AirPods, the same generation with the charging case too. These usually sell for around a hundred bucks. Both in there. Right there. hundred bucks. Nice. hundred bucks. We got Samsung Buds, freaking AirPods. We found some freaking a gold bracelet. Yeah, I'm happy with this box. This has been a good, a really good box so far. What we got? Oh, this says the police. Is this a stun gun, maybe? It is. We got a stun gun. Oh, it's a... We, we had it before on, on this channel. The pink stun guns. 
They sell for, I think it's around like what, 15 bucks or so for the pink stun guns. This I think will give me like three or four of them now. So it is a, it's a cheaper, cheaper stun gun. Not very expensive. Let's see what we got. Replaceable head strap for the Oculus Quest 2. Replaceable. This is that, uh, oh, what's it called? Virtual reality, just a replacement head strap part of it. I have no idea if this is expensive or not. No clue. Looks like replacement head straps are between 30 to 50. This is like an off brand, so probably closer to $30 range for that one. Here we go. We have, we got a, oh, an Invicta. That's a good brand. We got an Invicta watch. Nice. Warranty card. And, oh, it's brand new. It's It has all the film on it still. Got the tag attached to it. That looks nice. We do have an Invicta with that see-through back. So looks like in like open box item condition, this is the Invicta Automatic 29176 Pro Diver Men's Stainless Steel Watch. Has still has the tags attached to it. Has the film on the watch still. Looks like new other condition, like open box item condition. There's like an 85. We got a 94. And then 66. So looks like between like 66 and 94. Kind of like what's in the middle there? Like what? 80 bucks or so? Hey, that's a good item. I'll take 80 bucks all day long for a watch. Nice. So far, this box has been a home run again. Let's see what we got. What we got? We got some brand new Fuji film, Instamax, 20 shots total. Sells new for 22 bucks, so eBay, $10. A little bit less. Let's see what we got. We got three things left. The box almost fell off too. What is this? We have Timo. Oh, we've had this before. In a previous box, the Timo hypersonic hair dryer. If this is the same one, it was kind of expensive too. Let's see, it's in there. Nice. Yeah, I think this is the same one. I think, yeah, it was it was not cheap. I think it was like over a hundred dollars, maybe. Yep, this this is it. This is the expensive one. It sells new for around 300 open box item between one to 150. So probably ask this about 150 with best offer on it on eBay. Nice. Two things left. Oh, these are, I've had these before. And here are iPhone um, charging cords. You know, 10 bucks on that. Here we go, last thing. Last time we got a mystery box. Last thing in the box. What's in the mystery box? Oh, we have a grid tie micro inverter there's the cord there there's the inverter is this good i have no clue okay so on ebay it has not sold in the past 90 days three people are actively selling it they're asking these are asking prices not sold price they're asking between 110 to 130 it has not sold in the past 90 days so obviously 110 to 130 is too high because people aren't paying that price for it. So honestly, throw it up for like 75 best offer. Maybe it'll go for 75 bucks, hopefully. But if not, maybe even 50 bucks. But that's kind of how you can gauge price. If it hasn't sold for you know a few months, if people are asking as high as 130 and it's not selling, obviously that's too high. So you need to drop the price on it if you want to sell it. So that's what we got in this box. I think once again, this is a fantastic box. This was fun. Like, this was a lot of fun. This had good freaking stuff in it. From Air Apple AirPods, Samsung Buds, a pair of Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses, a freaking subwoofer, a couple really nice watches, hypersonic expensive blow dryer. We got Lego sets. Seriously, this, this was fun. This was good stuff. We got Lego. Yeah, I think I already said it right. We got Lego sets. This was fun. This was good stuff. This will be easy to sell. Everything will be available in my eBay store down below in the description box from eBay store. Check it out. Over 1,400 items available right now to purchase. 
Feel free if you would to subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it. I upload every single day, seven days a week. Haven't missed an upload in almost three and a half years. I upload every single day, sometimes twice a day. So if you want daily free content, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.